guys, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today we're going to be making this folding advent box to help count down the days until Christmas. It's a cute little um, kind of book style box that you can open, and it's filled with these little advent boxes. And you can add little candies or stickers or gifts to these and help count down the days until Christmas. So let's go ahead and put this together. Okay. So to get started, I've already put one part of this folding box together and um, it's filled with all these little advent boxes, as you can see. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put the other half of this together and then we're going to combine both of them to make our folding advent box. So to get started, we're going to locate the box pieces first. And um, just so you know, I printed all of this out on cardstock. I used um, Pen and Gear brand 110 pound cardstock, but it's, I would say more like a 65 pound in other brands. So um, just choose whatever you think will work best for you. And what we're going to do is start with this large kind of wood looking piece. And to begin with, we're gonna go ahead and fold these sides and I scored this on my scoreboard, so after I cut it out, I got out my scoreboard, just like this. And I went ahead and just lined up all the folding parts, and I scored along all of them, just like this. And so now I've got score lines to fold on, and I recommend doing that if you're able to, because um, it makes the folding a lot easier. And I'm going to be using runner tape just because I don't want to wait for the glue to dry. I want to be able to do this quickly for you. Um, but you may wish to use glue. That's entirely up to you. So to start with, we're going to fold all along these lines just like this. And you want to try to keep this as straight as you can. That'll help it when you're putting it all together. And you notice I'm folding inward toward the dark side. And then what we're gonna do is fold these outside pieces out, just like this. And these are gonna help keep this edge from looking white. So it gives you that illusion of wood. And it's also going to add a little stability to the structure. Okay, and then these tabs we're gonna fold in, just like this. Okay, so to start with, we're going to go to these outside edges and we're going to flip this over and we're going to um, glue or tape those shut like this. So just these long outside edges. And then next we're going to go ahead and adhere these tabs. So you put the glue or tape on this brown side of the tab, just like this. And then we're going to fold the edge in and put the tab behind it, just like that. And that's gonna create our box shape. So fold this flap in, put these tabs behind it, just like that. So the inside of our box will have this wood look and the outside will be mostly white. Okay, easy peasy. And then we're going to do kind of a similar thing with the book shelves. So you'll notice that there's four shelves and we're going to go ahead and create those. So same sort of thing, make sure you score along all of your fold lines. And then we fold the flaps in like this. And then we fold the edges back, just like that. And then we fold these tabs in. Okay. 
And then we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna take these long edges and glue them shut again. So these outside edge pieces. And we're gonna put glue or adhesive on these tabs. And again, we're gonna tuck those tabs behind our piece. Just like this. There we go. And now we've got our first bookshelf and it's going to go inside here like that and we're going to repeat that for the rest of the bookshelves okay and once you have those all finished they'll go inside here and if you want to, you can add some glue or tape inside to kind of hold these stable. I did that on this box. So what you would do is just add glue like to the back and around the inside and then stick, stick this piece in and then do the same with the next one and the next one and then the final one. And that would help it to um, be just a little more stable. It would keep the shelves really snug. So just keep in mind, if you wanna do that, you can. So I'm gonna set this aside, and what we're gonna do is make our little advent boxes. So I've got most of these assembled. You can see I'm kinda of like right here. And we're gonna go ahead and just put a couple together on camera here. So um, I cut these out, and again, I scored them. I didn't score all the lines, I'm a little lazy about that, <laughs> but I did score along these long ones where the tabs are. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and fold this on all the lines and try to keep it as aligned as you can. Because if you go crooked, your box will be a little wonky. There we go. So just fold all these lines and then also fold these tabs just like this. Okay, and then what we're going to do is apply um, glue or tape just to the tabs. And you want to apply it to the um, colored side, not, not the white side. Apply it on the colored side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it underneath the picture right here. And we're going to fold this tab. And we're going to bring the bottom of this piece that's next to the picture and we're gonna line it up right here to create our box. So just fold it right over like this. Right, same thing over here, fold this first tab and bring this piece over. And then we're gonna fold up this back piece with the tabs and tuck those tabs inside. And this may not line up perfectly along each line, but if you get it close back here, it should work pretty well for you. You can see mine's just a little off, but that's okay. It should still work. And that gives us our box. So I'll show you that again here real quick. Okay, and then these will go on our shelf. And you may have to um, bend them just a little bit, make sure that they get inside here. I fit them kind of snug so that they don't pop out. Okay, and we'll fill up all of these and then we'll put this together. Okay, so the completed box is going to need a picture on the back. So we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna choose one of our pictures. I already did this one, so I'm gonna use this one. 
and make sure you use this first. This is the first piece we're gonna put on because it has these tabs and we're gonna end up covering those up later. So it's gonna go on like this. Now you may wanna use glue here if you've been using tape because um, you can't really slide tape around if you get a little bit off, you know? <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and brave it and see if I can tape this on. Maybe easier at first to fold the tabs backward and then that'll kind of help you see the edges. Maybe. <laughs> And then these come with some extra pieces so that you can add a little dimension if you want to. And I do that using this um, kind of puff tape. So what I'm gonna do is just cut a little bit of this off and then we're going to give this just a little bit of a pop, just like that. And if you're looking to get some of this for yourself, it's called mounting tape. We'll just try to line this up with the image behind it. Oh, I'm a little bit off there, but that'll do. Okay, and that just gives you a little bit of dimension. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and locate these top and bottom pieces. And this is gonna be the top of our box and the bottom of our box. And one thing you wanna make sure of, um, this top piece, you might notice it's not perfectly symmetrical. It has like a wider end and a smaller end right here in this image. So you'll just wanna make sure that um, when the boxes go together, they're going to go kind of like a book like this. And you'll just wanna make sure that those mirror each other. So I don't want the skinny end. It's not the end of the world if you get it off, but I'm just trying to make it symmetrical. So you just wanna fold these tabs and then this is gonna go on top of your box. Just like that. And then same thing with the bottom piece. You just fold the tabs. Oops. And then they just go on the sides here, just like this. Okay. And now we've got this mostly covered except for these long sides. And that's gonna be the final thing that we do. So we're gonna decide kind of how we want our box to open. So we've got this piece, which is just folded in the middle. And then we have these two pieces that we cut apart. And the reason is the folding piece is going to hold our box together. So we're gonna line it up so the books, or the inside, the advent boxes are touching each other. And then we're going to use this piece to cover them. And you wanna make sure, um, it doesn't matter because you can change the boxes around, but when you open it, you'll probably want, you know, one, two, three on this side and then the other numbers over here, you know, so it makes sense. It's in numerical order. But again, if we accidentally messed that up, we could switch the boxes around. So don't stress about that too much. Okay, so we're gonna line our boxes up together and we're just gonna apply glue onto this piece. And just make sure everything is right side up. You don't want to accidentally get it upside down. <laughs> and I think what I'm going to do is glue just half of it first. So it folds in the middle here. And make sure before you do all this that you fold it along this line kind of back and forth a few times because we'll want that to be really pliable. Okay, and that 
becomes our folding piece. And then we're just going to finish up by adding these other two pieces here. And it looks like these are how they go. So you don't want to like switch them. I mean, it's not a big deal. If you switch them, it'll still look fine, but just keep in mind that these tall edges probably want to go together in the center right here. Okay, and our box is coming together. So on these front pieces where it opens, we've got a couple more little um, stockings for adding some dimension. And again, you can do that with the um, mounting tape. Okay, and this is our folding advent box. And then we can add the rest of our little boxes in here. Okay. And there we go. And this makes a cute little just display piece. And then it's a fun way to count down the days until Christmas. And you can fill your little boxes with stickers or candy or any little fun notes or surprises or money, whatever you want to do just to make it fun to count down the days. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.